basically what we're doing is trying to reestablish an endangered species of mussel, the Higgins Eye Pearly Eye, Pearly Mussel. Um, the technique that's used is mussels need a fish as an intermediate host. When they start out, when they just, when the females release their young, those young can't survive on their own. They need a fish as a host. They need to attach to either the fins or the gills of a fish. And so what we're doing is we're giving them a, a, a helping hand. Brent, what they've done in the uh, with the Fish and Wildlife Service up at the Genoa, up in Genoa, Wisconsin, the hatchery that they have there, they actually implanted Glochidia, which is one of the young uh, mussels, on the gills of fish, and I, those have attached now, and those gills are those young mussels have been on those gills for a couple of weeks now. What we're doing is actually placing those fish that have been infested with the young mussels out in these cages, and then we're taking the cages out into the river, we place the cages on the bottom, and hopefully within the next couple of weeks, those young mussels will drop off into the sediment that we're putting in the bottom of these cages, and they'll get a head start, and we'll be able, in a year and a half, lift these cages up and hopefully we'll have plenty of young mussels that have uh, grown from our efforts here. My old friend, you make me feel young again. My old friend, just as pretty as you were back then. Hey! Um, we have, uh, you know, the Higgins Eye is on the endangered species list, the federal endangered species list. But as a group of animals, mussels, freshwater mussels, are probably the most endangered animals that we have in, the, in North America. We used to have 350 species of, of mussels in North America, more than any other species in the world. But 70% of those species are now either extinct, endangered, threatened, or declining. So anything that we can do to bring back the mussels is, is an effort that's, you know, going to help save a lot of different species. The great thing about what we're doing here is the techniques that have been used here um, were actually developed here in Fairport in the early 1900s. A hundred years ago, these techniques were developed right here because of the button industry that we had in this area. And now, a hundred years later, the same techniques are being used now to bring back an endangered species, which is just a fantastic story. And we're here at the Isaac Walton League. Uh, this building here actually used to be on the old Fairport Hatchery ground, so the history and the, the full circle story is just a, a, a neat, neat story. Back when we were young, try to tell them I'm no different, just let for the show. So grab your apple. Well, there's a lot of, mussels are really important. You know, they've been important to man in the past through different things, for, for pearls originally, for the button industry, and then more recently for the culture pearl industry. But in terms of uh, animals, there's a lot of different animals that eat, like muskrats, otters, uh, you know, even young mussels are food for a lot of ducks and so on. Um, but mussels are, in general, just having that biodiversity out there, that, that there's, there's just hundreds of neat species of mussels all over, and it's just, they're, they're a really neat animal once you get to learn them. They really are.
some rings and a gun that sings and a flute that toots and a bee that stings and a sky that cries a bird that flies a fish that walks and a dog that talks do we ride me high tomorrow's the day that the ride's gonna come oh lord are we gonna fly down in these chairs